Y, where we answer questions we all have, but you know, rarely get the answers to. Yeah, today our Esmond Kozlov is looking into something bizarre happening along the National Mall. The Washington Monument. It's pretty beautiful, right? You can almost breathe in the freedom. But have you ever stopped and really looked at it? I mean, what's up with the discoloring? The bottom half is covered with this lighter stone, and then up top, it's this darker stone. So that brings us to our question of the day. Why does the Washington Monument have multiple colors? Well, our story actually starts in 1848, where just like now, they were doing construction. A group called the Washington National Monument Society wanted to commemorate G-dubs, so they started gathering money. I'm told they just had one rule. You couldn't give more than one dollar, about 30 bucks today. So with that money, they started building. And for six years, it was smooth sailing. And then they ran out of money in 1854. So just like that, construction was over and the monument was just left there. In fact, look at this drawing of it during the Civil War. The Union soldiers used it to graze cattle. Budget-wise, the monument just wasn't the priority. Then in 1876, Congress stepped up. They allocated some $200,000 worth about four and a half million today. And construction got back underway. But here's the problem. 25 years had gone by. And so that quarry over in Cockeysville, Maryland had been used a lot meaning that they were taking stone from way deeper in the ground. That's why it's a little darker. And you may be asking, why not just go to another quarry so they can match the color? Well, they tried that too. They went to the spot over in Massachusetts, but the color was even worse. In fact, if you look closely, you're gonna see that one area that has those lines through it. Well, those are the stones from Massachusetts. So that's it. No big flood, no big artistic choice, just time and changing geology. So now you know why the Washington Monument has two colors. All right, so live out here now by the Washington Monument. Look, look, it's incredible when you look at this through the historical perspective because yes, we all know that it's a tall structure, but imagine building that 150 years ago with the technology that they had. That's what makes it amazing. It was actually the tallest structure in the world at the time. So that's pretty crazy. Look, we still need uh, your help for getting more why questions. We'll go after it. You can send me your ideas on Twitter at ecosloff. You can send on Facebook at Evan Kozloff Reporting, or you can email me ecosloff at wusa9, and we'll look into it to try and find the answer to your why question. All right, guys, send it back to you. Evan, we were just talking with Ellen, and she was remarking about how she really enjoys the stories that she's learned so much about the city. Do you have one why question for you? Can you tell us why the elevator still is not working? Why does it keep breaking? So many months. <laughs> <laughs> Well, there was actually a lot of damage from that earthquake back yeah. in 2011, which is super interesting. But I, I love how, you know, I've been here since, let me see, back in 2009, I think. And yeah, it's been under construction on and off since then. So it seems uh, like it's always under construction, right? Yes, it I is. Know. Bless its heart. Evan, thank yes. you so much. <gasps> I love the smell of freedom. Oh, smell. Do you smell that? Mm, That's the coffee glory. you spilled earlier.